everybody and welcome back to my channel. Nice to see you back around these parts. I've missed you, it's been a week, but it's felt like a week, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. Today, I'm gonna to start a new mini series that may end with this just one video, but I have a few others planned that I hope to get to as well about JavaScript fundamentals. Frameworks are all fun and games until you start having to deal with the language underneath the framework's cover. And by that I mean if you're playing with React, Angular, Vue, it's all sitting on top of JavaScript. And if you don't really know how JavaScript works, well, you might have some bad days wrangling with a language that is a little bit foreign to you. So I figured that would be a good idea to do some JavaScript fundamentals and share some of these uh, squirrely parts of JavaScript that will help you along when you're writing your day-to-day -day job code or just trying to learn JavaScript to begin with. And today I want to talk about the difference between uh, function declarations and function statements. Let's get to the code. So little known fact, there are actually two ways to define a function in JavaScript because why be content with just one way? You can define a function in JavaScript as a function declaration or as a function expression. And they are subtly different depending upon how you want to use them. So let's start with a function declaration. A function declaration uh, looks like this. It uses the function keyword and then you have whatever name you want it to be. Uh, declaration, hopefully you can spell the word just as good as myself. And here I'm just gonna have a console log here. And then if I want to use this function declaration, again, this is because I'm using the function keyword, which is declaring that this is a function that I am creating. If I want to use it here and run it, so I'm gonna actually use uh, this thing called NodeMom, which actually just helps me rerun things nice and easy as I develop. I can see here it's being console logged out. Now this makes sense, this is pretty straightforward. However, one weird behavior of function declarations is that they are hoisted to the top of a JavaScript file. Which means that if I were to take this invocation of the function declaration declaration, maybe a misnamed file, and when I run it up here, you might think that it would error out because I'm calling it before it's actually being defined, but you would sadly be wrong because why would JavaScript behave as you'd expect? So now when I run this, it works as unexpected. And that's because hoisting takes this function declaration and essentially behind the scenes when JavaScript actually runs the your JavaScript file, it actually will have it kind of just hoisted to the top of the file. So it's actually accessible from there. Now where things get even a little bit stranger is let's say I have a uh, person variable named Harry. I am a person, my name is Harry. I wanna actually have it log here. Oops, person. So of course now if I run this with declaration called afterwards, everything's fine. However, if I were then move this just above declaration, as I had before, again, things are fine. However, if I take this invocation of the function declaration and move it above where I'm defining person, it errors out. Because while, so if, if you were to, if I were to recreate this file as it's actually being ran, it looks like this. And it means that the person variable is not yet defined when the declaration function is invoked. And that is because this is a ex expression. You're defining a new variable through an expression and expressions are not hoisted. Uh, which can lead to some unexpected behaviors. So if you do want to use a function declaration, always try to call it after it's defined, whether it's hoisted or not, or try to use ESLint or some other tooling to help prevent these errors. There's another way to also define a function, and that is through a function expression, uh, where you actually define a variable, so a function expression, and you define the function to that variable here. So log expression. And now when I run this down here, as expected, it logs out expression. However, if I try to take this and go up here and try to rely on that hoisting behavior, uh, it does not work because this is an expression which is not hoisted, which is in some ways a bit more expected to how you think things would work. 
And this is true also if you even write this as an arrow function because it's still an expression. It's going to have the same behaviors as the other way of defining a function. And there, it fails again. So that's function declarations versus function expressions. Uh, some subtle differences in behavior, but ones that you should be aware of when you're actually writing functions in JavaScript because most of the time you'll be writing a function when you're writing JavaScript code. And knowing about these subtle differences will help you make informed decisions. A while ago, there's actually a common popular pattern of actually leveraging the hoisting behavior of function declarations where people would actually write all their function declarations at the bottom of the file and then use it at the top, kind of exposing a, um, I guess a Java pattern or more uh, different languages where you have kind of the implementations at the bottom, you can kind of see them being used at the top and they leverage hoisting for that. But as you can see in my examples, if you use a variable that's defined outside of those functions, you can run into some weird situations. Like anything else with great power comes great responsibility. So if you like that hoisting behavior, Enjoy it, use it, just uh, be careful like anything else. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was hopefully a little bit different from what I've done in the past, but I want to get kind of to basics, explain some things that tripped me up in the past when I was learning JavaScript, but I, make sure, I want to make sure that you are aware of while you're learning JavaScript yourself. If you are not already a subscriber, do become a subscriber down below for more of these videos every week in your inbox if you get the notifications I guess sent to you. Uh, I look forward to hearing from you again next week with a brand new video, and I will talk to you again then.